Hey everybody, what's going on? Danchi here, and we are looking at the Final Fantasy Tactics collaboration for War of the Visions, and I have never been more stoked. So with this collaboration, we got a whole new event that's going to play out very similarly to the 14 events. We're going to have Orlando, who's going to be a banner unit, Ramza, who's going to be a banner unit, and then Gafgarian is going to be the free unit. You get him just for logging in and running the quest and doing all these different things. You're going to be able to get his shards and fill out just like Ishtola, kind of. We're going to go over all the new additions with the patch for the most part. And then a big thing right here, as everybody should have already seen, because this is like the first QOL that we're actually going to be getting. And once I actually pop into this quest here is the auto repeat function. So really cool there. Only thing with this, though, is I don't think JP has it yet, but I do believe there was an announcement for it coming into the future of their uh, QOL updates that the auto repeat function is actually going to get some more settings. But even if we go into battle settings, there is nothing to actually specify with auto repeat so you can't pick the number of times you want to run you can't pick like run until i get this item nothing like that it's literally just let it run automatically so that's neat at least so that way all these quests that you're going to be farming up you can go do something else watch some tv or something while it uh finishes uh burning all your energy away so with this new collaboration we did get of course a new event definitely make sure to take advantage of all the event missions get all that stuff out of the way it's very it plays very similar to all the other events you know clear each quest a certain amount of times you get all the event mission rewards, as well as materials to rank up your Gafgarian, as well as some shards and other goodies there. And then we do have a new bingo board to come with the collaboration, which is really cool. So a bunch of cool stuff here, specifically for Gafgarian, but there is some other neat stuff here as well. You get some FFT summon tickets in here. And then as part of the second bingo board, some more Gafgarian shards, more mats for him, some more event currency, more tickets, or I should say one ticket. The big one though is once you finish all of the bingo board rewards, you're going to get 40 Ramza shards. And I gotta say, this event is giving away a lot of Ramza shards. There's a lot of easier ways to get Ramza than there is to get Orlando, and they give out a whole lot more of his shards than they do Orlando in general. So we'll take a look at that when we look into the banners. And then going over the new events real quick, so of course we have the FFT event quest. I would say, of course, this is going to be the one that's going to give you the most event currency farming, you know, just this last quest here. Thing is though, this only gives the purple mats as you can see right there, but do make sure to check these other quests to see what other kind of mats you might need, specifically while you're upgrading any of the FFT units, especially at Gafgarian. If you need some blues, farm, you know, this or farm one of these other ones, or you can just go back to story quests because you might want to also farm up some chances for some job orbs as well, but these options are available here to you if you feel like you don't need any job orb farming. Also, we got the JP reward quest to come back, so we have the daily JP rewards, definitely do that. And then the 3 million download commemorative quest, make sure to clear out all the mission rewards for a guaranteed fragment and rainbow vision sphere. And then beyond that, you are going to get random drops every day for all these st things right here. So I believe it is 10 per drop, so every time you get one drop, you're going to get 10 fragments or prisms, so really good event. And then the last new event here is going to be the secret book reward quest and what's neat is they break it up here to show you exactly what books you're going to need for specifically what kind of gear that you want to end up upgrading and enhancing. Also there are event missions tied to this one as well so definitely take care of those and there is also a multiplayer quest for the secret book so if you want to get your secret book farming out of the way you can do that in MP and there are also missions reward to the MP. Etre quest here is going to be ending in a week, so make sure you get all your gear and all of your Etre shards every day if you're wanting to build her out or at least have all of her materials or her shards necessary for her into the future if you feel like building her out in the future. Alright, and the new banners we got here. So there's a few of them. There are the two split banners here, so one for Ramza, one for Orlando, as well as the new just raid up banner here for Eileen and Ziza. This means that they are also going to get raid ups in both the Whimsy shop and the standard shop if you want to up their shards there, especially if you don't plan on actually going for these uh, semi-limited units here. And then we have uh, some new uh, UR guaranteed units banner and vision banner right here. And then of course they have the big one, I can't show it because it's already been used for today, but starting today for the next 10 days we're getting a free multi every day, so that is 100 pulls in total. Make sure to get those out of the way. And even though it's not here, I can tell you as I already looked at it last night, that banner as well as the UR guaranteed banners over here. There is no specific rate up on those. They do include the FFT stuff though, so you can still potentially get them. But just to show you here real quick with the rates, there is no specific rate ups. Everything is the same except of course probably Gilgamesh. Yep, Gilgamesh. So no rate ups there, but if you go to the specific banners that you're gonna pull with just your standard viz, there are the rate ups here. So if we look at the Orlando banner right here, you can get Ramza, Orlando, and the new vision card, which is a really damn good card if you're able to max it out. That is kind of whale bait though. 
But here you can see that Orlando, not here, not here. I mean, you can see the rate here, but I want to look through here. You can see that Orlando's rate is at a 0.8%. Anybody who's played LC knows that that's not the worst rate you can see, but they're at 0.8 right there. And for it being almost 50% of the UR unit chance, that's not too bad. It's not great, you know? The UR rate's still not great, but it's, uh, it's not bad. And then just to show Ramza right here, yes, he is in the banner, and he is going to share the same rate with everybody else. So just know if you want to focus on getting either one, you should definitely be focusing on one banner over the other. And then you still can have a chance of getting said unit, not very likely. But yeah, my suggestion with these two banners here is if you were saving up specifically for Orlando and you already know you're going in, you have like, you know, tens of thousands of Vizior saved up just to, you know, cash out all of his shards, I would say, you know, he's definitely something you should go for. If you're somebody who enjoys FFT, wants one of the characters, and you aren't going to be able to invest as much Vizior as far as uh, aiming towards the max LB or at least a high amount of LB for one of the units, then I would say go for Ramza just because they make his shards so widely available throughout a lot of different means. I did a little bit of the math last night, but if I can think off the top of my head, you get 40 from Bingo. I believe it's 40 for login bonuses. If you spend a dollar a day for the daily purchase bonus, that's $5, I believe, right? Something like that, 5 or $7 a dollar a day because they reduce the, the gate for it. That is another 40 shards there. You have 80 shards in the event currency shop. I'm trying to piece it all together. In the standard shop, you have another 120 shards here for the 6k viz. And I want to say there's another means of getting some more shards, but it's, it's escaping me right now. Either way, it's a lot more shards that you're actually going to be able to get as either a free slash cheap to play for Ramza than it is Orlando. Orlando straight up, the only way you're going to be able to get him is to pull him. And then all of his shards are just going to have to be got the normal way as far as like refreshing shop or pulling a bunch of dupes. Which brings me to the other point, which is the fact that you are not guaranteed any unit when it comes to pulling on these banners, except Ramza. Ramza is guaranteed in two different ways, or I should say three. Technically, one, you can you can pull him, as you could with any other unit. Two, you could buy him here. If you do 100 pulls on Ramza's specific banner, you can just buy him straight out right here for the 1,000 summon currency. And then in the shop, not here, not this shop, in the shop, you can see there's a Ramza unit pack, which I have already gotten myself here, but there is Ramza here for 5k paid viz, and you get some other goodies with it as well. But the big thing is that they are giving you both a pay to win option to get him, and a free to play option if you have saved up the viz for him, so that way you can just do the 100 pulls and get the guaranteed at the very least. Whereas, like I said, Sid, no guarantee. And then the only shop things I wanted to go over is there's only one new pack that they've added into the game. Specifically for the collabs is collab pack, which doesn't look that uh, different from other packs. I would say if you are somebody who gets into this price range right here, though, this is a really, really damn good pack to take advantage of right here. Also, this one that they just added, this one isn't going to be time limited, but I do believe that even in JP, this is the only means of actually getting this card here, which is equip and enjoy plus 20% AP acquisition for one unit on the vision card, as well as a 50% JP acquisition boost for the entire party. That is pretty big when it comes to just grinding out stuff, especially when it comes to newer units like the FFT units or any other units you plan on building into the future as far as uh, really popping up those J those job points. Also, if you go ahead and click and look at buying like just the Vizior by itself without looking at packs, they did refresh for any of you whales out there. They refresh the, what is it, the double value one-time purchase thing. So if you buy like one pack, you'll get the value of two there. So for you whales out there, you know, hop on that. And then just to go over the event shop here, we can see this is pretty neat to see. I don't know how it worked over in JP, but I doesn't matter. I, I try not to compare too much, but this is really cool. We get 80 shards of Ramza for free through the event, and we get 80 shards of Orlando through the event. This is 20k currency, and so far they don't give a lot for doing the event missions and running the quest as it is. I'm hoping by next week or shortly after that, that we will get some kind of EX quest added in just so it could be somewhat easier to farm out some of this currency because 40k just for the shards alone is pretty steep. And then we have this new sword that we're probably going to want to be crafting out because both of these units are going to equip sword. In fact, all three of these units are going to equip a sword, so I'm sure we would want at least one of these. One person can get an Excalibur. And for, I don't know, super crazy people, you can build out a second one of these, but you can't build it to cap, so... Yeah, definitely want to grab that. If you're building out your Gafgarian, your Ramza, literally anything, Sid, everything, you're going to want to get these job orbs at some point in time, the yellows and reds here. As remember, the job orbs are time limited, so definitely cop those if you're planning on pulling for or building any of these units out. We also have the one-time Thought Fragment Rainbow Vision Sphere. These are must-gets right here, so that's at another 20k. Gosh, the, the currency adds up. 
And then back again, like I said, with the 14 events, we had the same kind of shop where we're gonna get 10 prisms and 10 fragments of each element every day. If you so choose, this is expensive to grind out every day, of course. My suggestion whenever it comes to these things though, is if you want to build out multiple elements of the same unit, definitely cop that element every single day that you possibly can. It really will offset the fact that you're building out two of the elemental units. I've done it now with Eileen and Mont, and that is my best advice for that. And then some other stuff that you can buy daily. The weird thing here, I'm not sure if this is like a mistake or something, but you can get, it says limited, so this isn't like a daily refresh. The 10 books here, this makes sense. The 10 secret books, you know, secret books are kind of rare-ish to get. But then Sorrowful Hearts, limited to two of them for 50 currency each, and then Cloudy Sap limited. This one also makes a little more sense, that's fine. At least it's 10. This one makes no sense though. Sorrowful Heart, you get two of them. Two gets you literally nothing. I have 181. I don't know what the mistake here was. I just thought it was goofy. I, I thought I'd point it out. <laughs> and then the last thing I wanted to go over is specifically when it comes to these limited banners and going over these shards. So primarily the only way you're going to be able to fill out all these shards in probably the most cost efficient manner is going to be refreshing the shops, being there for every refresh. So the shop I believe refreshes every six hours. So once it reset, six hours later, six hours later, six hours later. So that's one it resets, one six hours in, one 12 hours in, one 18 hours in, and then one more back at the next day's reset. So that's technically four shops that you need to hit every day. Do know the values of all of your updates, all of your shop refreshes that you can do. Your first shop refresh every day is going to be free, so definitely take advantage of the free one. After that, it will be 50. After the 50 refresh is uh, where I'm foggy because I already did a refresh, but I think it is one for 50, then it's 100, and then it's 200, and then I'm not sure because I haven't gotten that far yet, but I believe it caps at 200, and then it just keeps asking you to spend 200 viz every refresh after that. You're also limited based on your royal rank, so I would say for free to plays, you should aim to be refreshing at least to the 50 slash to the 100 viz refresh mark if you can every day. With only four shop refreshes in a day, and the chances are that you're going to get most likely these five shard little bumps right here, it's going to be slim pickings if you try and just hit every one of those shop refreshes every day, whereas if you're doubling the amount of refreshes you get in a day, you're doubling those chances. You're also not guaranteed that you're going to get the unit that you're looking for in these shop refreshes, so you're, you're probably going to need to take advantage of that as much as you possibly can. And just to show y'all real quick, if you update here, you can look at the time, 101, if I update here, boom, still 101. So it doesn't matter when you refresh, just as long as the timer's not right about to change, it's not going to reset the timer at all for the day. Just gonna keep refreshing. Also do know, there is a raid up going on alongside of FFT when it comes to the shop shards. That's right, Ziza and Eileen are on raid up as well, and they are also on raid up on the Whimsy. I don't know if FFT is on Whimsy, because I haven't seen any of those character shards in the Whimsy shop, but I've seen plenty of Eileen and Ziza pop up in this shop already. All right, and to break it down with this super neat and nifty little chart that I put together that is probably not even completely accurate, but at least a good reference point, is going to be the kind of cost expectancy when it comes to actually maxing out all of these characters. This isn't even including the amounts of pulls or the amount of visits it's going to take to even pull these characters to even begin with. But excluding all of the free shards that we get, and this is free, this isn't with Viz, so this isn't even including the 120 that we can get from the shop already, which absolutely take those now. That's going to be your easiest shot at getting 120 shards when it comes to actually refreshing shops and whatnot. But free shards alone, that's 80 from the Mog Shop for Orlando, 40 from the Bingo event, 40 from the Login, and then 80 from the Mog Shop as well for Ramses, so that's 160 shards taken out for him. There might be more that I'm forgetting slash I feel like I'm missing something else, but there is also other means of getting his shards a little easier than Orlando, if you're spending money that is. But just free, free shards alone looking at this, you can see uh, some wonky math. I did the divided by 40 just because 40 shards is 2k viz, so I was just doing the math so I could break it down here. Essentially though, to get those 520 shards, it's going to be 26k for Orlando, excluding the free shards, excluding any dupes you might pull. And for Ramza, you are going to need 440 shards left over, besides the free ones that we get, and that is 22k viz. If you were trying to build out both of these units, that it's at least 48k vizior in order to get them both max LB'd. And then we have to look at the shop refreshes, which we were just taking a look at. This is where my math might be a little more iffy, just because uh, unfortunately I couldn't show off all the resets for the day. And, it, and this is personally going to matter more into like your own pocket, whether or not you're going to want to be refreshing as much in a day or as little as you can in a day. At least the one free refresh and then the 50 refresh, I would say that is the easiest like slash best value. And it just depends how long they're going to stay in the shop for Rada. But roughly you're looking at 150 to 350 Vizior a day for refreshes and over the course of a week. And this looks like it's going on for a month, but I don't know if the shop is actually going to keep them in Rada for a month. 
but that is 1050 to 2450 Vizior in a week. That is uh, if you go onto the higher end of the spectrum, and you can go more than 350. I mean, that was just kind of my recommendation over the course of time, at least. That's a little more than a multi right there, and on the kind of smaller spectrum that is getting the 50 uh, refresh and the 100 refresh every day, that's half of a multi right there. Of course, this is all luck dependent on how little or how much you're going to have to spend, but just looking at one unit alone, like for me personally, looking at Orlando, that's 26k viz that I'm looking at. And if I were going to go into the higher end of the spectrum, and I'll just give it, you know, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt and say about two to three weeks, so at least another 4,900 viz to do the higher end of what I've uh, I projected here. That's at least 30k vizier for one character, not including Ramza here. Altogether, they're looking at about probably nigh on 60k viz, and that's, you know, with relative luck there. Also, when you look at those shop refreshes every day, make sure you're hitting those shops every single day. The actual, like, free timed resets that you get throughout the day, because that's huge. That is, you know, a lot of viz that you're saving right there every day when you're trying to build out all these characters. But that's it. Somebody asked me last night, so I can kind of, like, make a little thingy to kind of show how you should be trying to aim for a max LB on these characters, and I thought I would at least put out the cost expectancy for people. Yeah, we did end up pulling uh, Sid here live last night. It was super exciting. I did get the Ramza pack, so I do have Ramza wherever that young boy is. Somewhere way down here. There he is. And then we did get, of course, Gafgarian. We're going to be building out both Gafgarian and Orlando, and I'm hopefully going to be straight shotting Orlando into into becoming the absolute beast, the absolute king he is. And when he gets to that point, I definitely want to kind of show off a little bit of him in uh, PvP. But until then, thank you all for watching. If you'd like me to make any other specific videos for War of the Vision, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. Appreciate you all, and I will see you in the next one.